Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Joan rides this bike everywhere. Which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. What's it doing here? I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Oh, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, uh, Bug, just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Uh, don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Is there something wrong with your mom? No, I'm running away because things are so great. <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. Leaving is gonna hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I... It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time, and then she's too out of it, and never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on. 
but he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. I know. People at the wake got upset at you over it. Yeah. They did not like me bringing that up. But Nick was my friend. I want to know what happened to him. I care about that, but I also care about keeping you safe. I know you're doing your best. It's just this town, you know? It just feels like it grinds you down. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years? You like insects? How about someone who studies them? Would you like to be an entomologist? Go around the world, collecting bugs? You remember? Yeah, bugs are cool. That does sound fun. You can leave Basswood that way, but you can't do it without finishing school. It won't be easy, but it's better than just wandering out in the dark. Focus yourself on your goals. I know your father would be proud of that. Look. I'm gonna find out what really happened to him, okay? And you and I, we'll figure this out. About what's next for you, about your mom, life. I need you to trust me. I need you to give me some more time. A few days. You have a few days. Do you want me to drive you back home? No, it's fine. I need to take my bike back anyway. I'll see you later. All right? I promise. For real this time. I'm gonna hold you to that. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town... Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? <laughs> Joan always liked bugs. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too.
Bog never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Man, Bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. She's gotten pretty mature now. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Now, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him, grew up with him. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. <laughs> what a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails.
Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Alright, I think I went through everything here. If Dee met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive.
An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? figure out the connection between Nick's note and this lock. Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. Gotta figure out the connection between Nick's note and this lock. Nick's note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Doesn't work. There must be something I'm missing. No, that wasn't it. Nick's note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Let's see what we have here. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. If Dee met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive.
Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Richard, a.k.a. Dicky, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dicky. Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dicky set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. This is either new or Nick was really distracted. He usually fixed everything. <laughs> 